Hey y'all. Um, I'm Mrs. Palguda. Hi, I'm Ms. Russell and we both teach English and our English teachers have a really cool tradition that's gone on for a long time where we get together at the very end, right before winter break and our last meeting, um, right before the, right before that break, we have a book exchange. So everybody brings a book in and we all kind of like exchange and I got this awesome book in a book exchange from Ms. Palguda, Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. Mm -hmm. And because I love it and it's awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she said it's one of her favorite books ever, ever, ever. And I read it and I loved it. So I want um, her to tell you why it is one of her favorite books ever. Okay. Well, I love Frederick Bachman. He is um, a, his, he's a foreign writer. So all of his works are translated which I think is really cool. But um, I, what I love the most about Beartown is um, the characters. The characters are amazing. Um, there are teenage kids all the way up to, you know, middle-aged people and everybody's story is so just amazing and cool. And you feel like you really get to know all of the people in there. So it's not just two or three people that you want to know about. It's the whole town. And it's about hockey and who cares about hockey, but you love it. <laughs> you learn to like, True. wow, this is why they all love hockey so much. What about you, Miss Russell? What, what did you like about it? Oh man, everything you just said um, pretty much nailed it. But also, yeah, I did. I was surprised when I first saw it, I was like, I don't know if I can care this much about hockey. These people are really <laughs> into hockey. But, but it really becomes, I mean, I think the thing that I love is the town itself almost becomes its own character. Mm -hmm. I mean, when, when you say like, it's like the people are so close knit and the society is so, so um, uh, everybody knows each other's story and everybody kind of mm -hmm. weaves into everybody else's story. And then you start seeing how that's woven together. And then the, the town itself kind of becomes a character. Right, right. And the characters, like you, you don't totally hate any of them. No. Because even the bad guys, yeah. like you, you understand, you learn so much about them that you are very conflicted with the things that they do. So it's like real people. Like I love those people and I want to know what happened. Yeah, yeah seriously. It, it's so riveting. Um, in fact, okay, so I'm going to read just to the very beginning because um, I think it's super, super suspenseful as well. That was the other thing I liked about it. So it begins, like, this is all there is, like, on the very first page. It says, late one evening toward the end of March, a teenager picked up a double-barreled shotgun, walked into the forest, put the gun to someone else's forehead, and pulled the trigger. This is the story of how we got there. Whew. And you cannot put this book down until you figure out what happened. And it is so wonderful. So I also passed it along to a friend of mine. And um, she said, she's not a teacher, but she's an avid reader. And she put it, she's like, this is in my top five favorite books of all time. So yeah. great read. It is the first of a trilogy, supposedly. The first two are out. The third one has a name, um, but I don't, I can't find a, a date when it comes out. Um, so the second one, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I haven't gone on to this one yet, but Ms. Palguda assures me it is the best. Yeah, it's almost as good as the first. The first okay. one. Oh, oh, this is the best one. Yes. And, and then, then the second really one, good. yeah, um, and you learn more about just, you know, the characters that you loved in the first one. So, you know, it's, it's a great continuation. I just can't wait right. for the third one. Oh, nice. Awesome. All right. Hope you guys will pick this All up right. and try. Happy reading.